Colestec Corporation, leading the way in the development of diagnostic tools for preventive care and testing and chronic disease management, presents the Colestec LDX system. The Colestec LDX system is a quick, simple, and accurate diagnostic system that aids a healthcare professional in assessing and monitoring coronary heart disease and diabetes. Using a small blood sample from a finger stick and an innovative measuring device, the Cholestec LDX system measures analytes, including total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, glucose levels, ALT, AST, and HSCRP in approximately five minutes. The system also calculates an LDL cholesterol value and has the option of performing a cardiac risk assessment based on the American National Cholesterol Education Program's Adult Treatment Panel 3 Coronary Heart Disease Risk Algorithm. The LDX system provides immediate feedback of information to the health practitioner and the patient, allowing lifestyle decisions which promote health and well-being. The Cholestec LDX system uses reflectance photometry to measure the concentration of blood analytes such as cholesterol or glucose. The analyzer is very simple to use. By following the instructions on the LCD screen and pressing three buttons, you can easily operate the system. The Run button opens the cassette drawer and starts a test after the cassette is inserted. It also resets the analyzer to prepare for the next test. The Data button allows the user to view the last reported results and to obtain any calculated results. The stop button closes the cassette drawer at the end of the testing period and allows you to interrupt the test that is in progress. Disposable test cassettes are used with the analyzer. Each test cassette has two parts, the main body and the reaction bar. The main body contains the sample well, where the blood sample or control is dispensed, and the magnetic stripe. The unique cassette technology separates out the red blood cells from the plasma. The plasma is then transferred to the reaction bar to test specific biochemical reactions. Within minutes, the white pads on the reaction bar change color. The darker the color, the more analyte is present. The magnetic stripe is read by the analyzer and provides information on the type of cassette, the product expiration date, and cassette calibration. Avoid touching the magnetic stripe and the reaction bar. See the package insert for proper storage and handling information. After plugging in the Colestec LDX system, the words testing memory will appear on the LCD screen. The Colestec LDX system will be ready for use after a brief warm-up period. The system will run a self-test, which ends with the message self-test OK. Before you start using your analyzer, it is recommended that you set the information in the configuration menu. To enter the configuration menu, hold the stop button down until the firmware version appears. The configuration menu allows you to make changes in how the Colestec LDX system shows information, such as language, units, sample type, printer options, risk assessment, and date and time. There are four optical channels inside the Colestec LDX system. An optics check cassette confirms the correct operation of the optical system. The optics check cassette must be run each day before patient samples are tested and any time after moving or cleaning the Colestec LDX system. The optics check cassette should be kept in its case at room temperature when not in use and handled like all cassettes. Do not touch the dark parts, only touch the clear portions of the cassette. Keep it dry and clean. If it becomes damaged or wet, the optical readings may change. When your optics check cassette expires, or should it get damaged, you must purchase a new one from your distributor. To start the optics check, press Run and confirm the self-test OK message. The cassette drawer will open and you will see the message, Load Cassette and press Run. Put the optics check cassette into the analyzer. Do not place any blood sample into the optics check cassette. Press the Run button again and the analyzer will automatically perform the optics check. Record the optics check results in the optics check log sheet supplied with the system procedure manual. Medical gloves should always be worn when handling blood samples or quality control material. 
The cassettes can be stored either in a refrigerator or at room temperature. The cassettes may be used until the date printed on the pouch when they're stored in a refrigerator. The shelf life on the test cassettes is significantly shorter when stored at room temperature. Please refer to the package insert for specific dating on test cassettes when they are stored at room temperature. For small usage, remove the number of cassettes you will need from the refrigerator and check to make sure they have not expired. Before using cassettes that have just been removed from the refrigerator, the cassette pouch should be left unopened for at least 10 minutes to reach room temperature. Just before collecting a sample, remove one cassette from its pouch and put it on a clean, dry, flat surface with the printed side up. Once you've set up the system and run the optics check and quality control diagnostics, you are ready to run a test. The most common method of sample collection for the Calestec LDX system is from a finger stick. The patient should sit quietly for five minutes before the sample is collected. Refer to the test cassette package insert to ensure you are using the correct capillary tube. Prepare a capillary tube by inserting the plunger into the tube at the end with a colored band until the plunger reaches the black line. The hand should be warm and relaxed. There are several techniques that can be used to increase blood flow. Have the patient wash their hands with bar soap and then rinse with warm water to warm the hand or use a heating pad or warm compress. The heat used should not exceed normal body temperature by more than a few degrees. You can also gently massage the finger from the base to the tip several times to help bring blood to the fingertip. Clean the fingertip with a solution of 70% isopropyl alcohol, then dry the finger with a gauze pad. The finger should be clean and dry to avoid hemolysis that could lead to an erroneous result and to remove any traces of glycerin-based hand soap or lotion that could affect triglyceride results. The best place to take a sample is the palmer side of the middle or ring finger on either hand. Select a site on the sides of the finger that is free from calluses and scar tissue. Hold the finger securely to prevent sudden movement. Perform a deep and firm puncture. Wipe off the first large drop. Gently but firmly press the finger until a second large drop forms. Hold the finger downward and gently apply pressure to the surrounding tissue. This will make the blood flow more freely. Hold the capillary tube at a slightly descending angle to the drop of blood. The tube will fill. Fill the tube up to the black mark quickly, within 10 seconds or the blood may clot. If necessary, gently squeeze the entire finger and release to increase blood flow to the puncture site. If there is poor blood flow, reopen the puncture site by wiping firmly with a gauze pad. Keeping the hand below the heart level will also increase blood flow. After you've filled the tube, have the patient press a gauze pad on the puncture site for a few moments until the bleeding stops. To perform a good finger stick, remember that the hand should be warm and relaxed. The finger should be clean and dry. Perform a deep and firm puncture. Create a free flowing drop of blood. Hold the capillary tube at a slightly descending angle to prevent air bubbles. Fill the capillary tube in under 10 seconds. Dispense blood into the cassette sample well in less than five minutes. Immediately deliver the filled cassette to the tray and hit run. Avoid excessive squeezing of the finger or milking because this may dilute the sample with tissue fluid and may cause it to clot faster. This may also cause inaccurate results. Do not allow the capillary tube to touch the skin and do not use it to scoop up the blood. Avoid getting air bubbles in the tube. If there is air in the capillary tube, you may not have enough sample. You must start with a new or fresh capillary tube. Once you have collected the sample, you should dispense it into the cassette in less than five minutes or the blood may clot. Dispense the sample toward, but not touching, the white material in the cassette well. The cassette should immediately be loaded into the analyzer drawer. Hold the cassette horizontally and do not touch the black bar or the magnetic stripe to ensure proper functioning of your LDX system. Press run to close the drawer and the test will start. Be sure to dispose of all supplies contaminated with blood in a biohazardous waste container. When the test is complete, the Calestec LDX system will beep and the result will appear on the screen. Press data to obtain any additional or calculated results and record them on the patient result form. Depending on the test cassette, it may be necessary to press the data button a third time to obtain all the results. After a test has been performed, Pressing the run button once brings up the prompt to load a new cassette and start a new test.